going on everyone? Uh, today I'm going to show you how to enable and disable the valet mode and the pedal lock features on your Sprint Booster for your 2019 Ram if you have one. So essentially pedal lock is a three digit pin that you can set. Um, so when you start your truck you have to type in that pin in theory in order for the throttle pedal to actually work. Otherwise you'll push the pedal and nothing will happen. So it's kind of like an anti-theft device. Uh, but they do stress in here that obviously it's, it shouldn't be used as a primary source of theft deterrent. All right, so the first step is going to be to put the truck into the run position, but don't start it. Don't have your foot on the accelerator pedal. Don't start the truck. You might be able to have it running as long as you're not pushing on the pedal, but I would just do it with the truck off. All right, so now your Sprint Booster is powered up. We need to shut it off. So we're going to, as you can see, I'm in sport. So we're going to go race off and now once it's off you're going to hold this button and this button down uh, simultaneously for three seconds until a dash shows up on the display there we go once you have the dash displayed you have to be kind of quick otherwise it disappears after a second use the either of the arrows to switch between uh, l and p L is for pedal lock, P is for valet mode, so we'll do L for pedal lock, and then we'll hit the big sprint booster button, and now we have a dash flashing. Now once it's flashing, again, you gotta be quick. Use the arrows to choose your first number of the pin that you want, let's just say two. Then you hit the middle button again, it goes to the second digit. Let's do a zero, big button again, and now the third digit, we'll do like a one, Big button again, and now it should be saved. You probably saw there that the L was flashing on the screen. Uh, it's supposed to flash for about 10 seconds. Uh, and during that time that it is flashing, um, you can cancel the pin if you want. To cancel the pin, you just push any of the three buttons on the Sprint Booster while the L is blinking. Uh, once it stops blinking, it's too late. Uh, your pedal lock is set. So now let's start the truck and see what happens. As you see, it does work. We got nothing. So while pedal lock is enabled, it'll display an L on the screen. Now, it should be noted, <clears throat> maybe I gotta play with it a little more, but this seems to be something for like, if you're going downtown for dinner or something and your truck's gonna be parked for a few hours, um, I wouldn't be wanting to do this every time I just run five minutes to the store and then five minutes to the gas station because it is a little more complicated than it needs to be. Um, you have to set a pin and enter the pin each time you park. So like once I unlock it right now, it's it doesn't remember the pin that I set. So you'll see what I'm talking about here. So I'm gonna go ahead and unlock it. To unlock it, you do the same thing. You hold the two buttons. Then I messed it up because my fat fingers are in the way. There we go. So it's asking for the first digit. We did a two, enter, zero, enter, one, enter. And now it shows a U, which means unlocked. So we're gonna start the truck. And as you can see, I have throttle again. And uh, you want sport or race, Obviously just tap here to switch back. Now, here's the thing though, if you shut the truck off, all right, <clears throat> now it could need time to power, power phew, I can't talk today. <laughs> it could need time to power down, um, which I think for this unit, it takes like 30, 35 minutes to, to fully power down. Um, but if you like open the door, close it, I can lock the truck unlock it, open the door again, close it. Now if I go to fire it up, as you see, I have throttle, there's no pedal lock enabled. So it doesn't automatically reset every time you shut the truck off, which is why I'm saying like you probably don't wanna use it for your little errands running here and there. You probably just wanna use it if your truck's gonna be parked 
somewhere where maybe it's high theft rate or if it's gonna be parked for a long period of time. Because to me, I mean, where I'm at, it's not worth typing the pin in twice like that um, every time I gotta run into a store. So that's how to use the pedal lock feature. Um, if you forget the pin for whatever reason, Obviously, this is very inconvenient, but if you didn't memorize your pin, you kind of did it to yourself, so you can't be too mad. Uh, they say to start the engine um, to activate power to the device, so basically start the truck, and then it'll display the L on the screen, which because it'll be stuck in pedal lock mode because you forgot the pin, and you'll have to wait 35 minutes with power going to it, so 35 minutes your truck would have to run without touching the gas pedal and then after that time limit of 35 minutes the device will reset the password and the digit u for unlock will blink for a few seconds on the led display and the pedal lock mode will be deactivated so don't forget your pin if you do use it otherwise you're going to sit and idle for a half hour all right now i'm going to show you how to use the valet mode it's going to be the same thing basically as uh, the pedal lock we're gonna go ahead, come on, focus. There we go. We're gonna turn the sprint booster off. Then we're gonna hold the two arrows again for about three seconds. P for park, which is valet. <laughs> it's, it's confusing because you'd think P would be for pedal lock, but L is for pedal lock, as in lock. So P, oh, talked too long and it went away. P, enter. That's gonna ask if you want one, two, or three. I'm gonna do three, because we got the big bad Hemi. Now if you look here, it's their recommended, so if you got 150 horsepower or less, level one, 150 to 300 horsepower, they recommend one or two, and 300 and up, one, two, or three. Obviously, three would make most sense, because it's going to limit your power if you go through the manual here um, I believe it says yeah right here 55% 65% and 75% so we're gonna run through it again P for park valet mode enter level 3 enter and then you're gonna enter a pin again. Let's say five, oh, one. And it's gonna flicker, probably letting you know there that it just set. So now I'm actually interested how much power it does sap. So we got it on level three right now. And I'm gonna take this thing just down the road and see what happens. <laughs> oh yeah, it works. Watch this, right? I'm gonna floor it. That's floored. That's like maybe how fast you would go if you had quarter throttle normally. I'm gonna floor it from this stop sign here and see what happens. I mean, it's still got a little punch off the line, but it's floored right now. So I'm just coasting at 40 and now I'm gonna, I'm gonna punch it. You'll hear the pedal hit the floor nothing so it, it doesn't downshift it yeah it just limits power and and keeps it less aggressive oh there's a motorcycle on the road still got snow on the ground bud <laughs> also just a thought but if you uh find yourself using too much gas pedal and getting really crappy mileage you could probably use valet mode as an eco mode <laughs> the, the only crappy thing is once you get up over about 40 miles an hour to get from there to 70 it would take you quite a while all right we're back at the house now uh disable the valet mode it's going to be the same as disabling the pedal lock we're going to hold the two buttons down and then we're going to enter the code which was 501 and there you go u for unlocked and I'm going to put her back onto my Sport 9 where I normally keep it. 
And again, same steps if you forgot your pin for the valet mode, it's gonna be the same steps as if you forgot your pin for the pedal lock. You're gonna to have to run the truck for 35 minutes without touching the accelerator and then it will time out and reset itself. So that's it for today's video. I just wanted to kind of go in depth with the Sprint Booster now that the install video is up and then the uh, throttle pedal versus uh, throttle body uh, command. And then now we've gone through the uh, valet mode and the pedal lock. So that's basically everything there is to know about the Sprint Booster. If this video helped you out, make sure you hit that like button, consider subscribing for more videos like this, comment, and check me out on Facebook at Tony the Truck Guy. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.